Hello, and welcome to the Disconnected Gamers Podcast, episode 58, where we reconnect with life and gaming. I'm one of your hosts, Andrew, usually known as Jabe. I prefer, I kind of prefer Jabe on, it's weird. Uh, with me as always. Yeah, 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 you know, you know, it's your boy. It's your boy, Mike. It's your boy, Mike. Ah, uh, it is Sunday. February twenty first, two thousand and one six. Uh, weather's weather's actually great. It's, I'm gonna say the weather's great. It's it's not snowing. Nice. It's not negative nine. Right. So it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's all we need. It doesn't it doesn't have to be snowing, and it should definitely not be no. negative nine. Oh, gosh, no, 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 no. So uh, it's been a week. It has been a week. Um, I have. Uh, Played a bunch of games. Nice. I picked up like Halo Five. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Finally, have not touched campaign. Um, I I played it on stream. The multiplayer jumped into it. A little weird. Getting used to it. Like control wise, or just? Yeah, it's just because it's faster than Halo used to be, and the aim down the sights is a bit weird. Um. And like the so when, gotcha. like because you've got that weird dash thing if you hit like the B, uh, B yeah. And so when you jump in the air and then aim down the sights, and it like suspends you with those like booster things. It's weird, yeah. Yeah, I disabled it. I shut that off. Okay, I didn't know you could disable somebody, that. After somebody was asking me in chat, I think it was Na- uh, Nanu was asking me. Uh, shout out to Gaming Lag Podcast. Uh, he was like. Can you shut that off? And I was like, you know, honestly, I never looked. And then I went into the menus, and it turns out you can disable that. Because nice. nice for, for me, my problem was is I'm so used to following my shots in midair that, like, uh, I would go to aim to follow, mm-hmm. like, you know, your path of trajectory where, like, the enemies would be. So I would always aim down because I'd mm-hmm. be aiming – or aim up because I'd be aiming with whatever movement I was doing, hoping mm-hmm. that I would then bump into that person. And gotcha. when you don't, that kind of is weird. Right. So, I, I just, I, like, it's, I think, It's not for you. Gotta... Yeah, like, I think that I should totally, you know, leave it on. Basically, one of those mechanics, you should just try it for a little bit, and then if you really don't like it, then okay, keep it off. Yeah, because I feel like, like it has. I feel like in game it absolutely has advantages, right? Right, because it means that the person on the ground has to, you know, like they have to remember that I may fall or I may not fall if I aim right. while you know whatever. So I and, and for me too, it also gives me the added benefit that uh, I'm more stable hovering mm. while taking a shot while taking especially a shot, like yeah. a like a, a sniper shot or something. The other part about it that's not advantageous is that if I was trying to snipe someone and I said I'm going to jump for it and aim, oh, right. I'm not going to keep moving <laughs> to keep no, my yeah, shot yeah, yeah. in motion. Right. So they may come out of my field of view, and I might not be able to make that shot. So mm-hmm. I think I'm just going to just not use it and just deal Fair. with and deal with not having that, you know, the, the minor pros and cons. But I, I'm curious to see, like – uh, the Halo Championships were on Twitch the other day, and I probably should have watched it to see if they use it. Because I if I the pros, if the pros, yeah, I mean, I don't really watch professional esports. I don't think they did. I don't recall seeing someone using it. That's the thing. Like, if they're not using it, then I don't. I shouldn't yeah. be using it, right? If it turned off, yeah. Um. <clears throat> so that was, that was that. Um. Nice, nice. Still yeah. playing Destiny at all, or have not. I haven't touched it. Yeah, I did not jump back into Destiny. I want to. I really do. Because I want some gear. So the last thing I did was the Crimson Doubles. Uh, Okay, what was that? That was Valentine's Day. Okay. Was that just... It was just doubles again? That tower was all rosy. And there was a quest line. And Crimson Doubles was 2v2 elimination. So basically, okay. think like Trials of Osiris, but instead of 3v3, oh, 2v2, okay. yeah. And you had the chance to get 
a chocolate ghost or a rosy ghost. So the rosy ghost was like a pink metallic. It looks actually pretty awesome. I have one. And oh, then the okay. other the other ghost was a chocolate ghost that looks like a chocolate. Was it just for playing or was it a drop? Like if it was you eventually a, it was a chance for a drop. And if gotcha, you played gotcha. seven matches, you were guaranteed a 320 ghost. It was random whether you got the cool one or the chocolate one. Um, <laughs> but you were if you played seven matches, you were guaranteed. Either way, you would oh, From dang. the postmaster at some point, yeah. So for me, I was like, well, hell yeah, that's an easy way. I can play seven matches and lose Just and still get then. a ghost. Luckily, I got one like the first or second match I had played with uh, Sean Bartley because he, uh, he was streaming it and I was streaming it, and so we were playing teamed up. And, like, he was bummed out because I guess he hadn't got one. He played way more matches than I did. So Oh, and he did drop. Yeah, so he's he's going to get one at the end of the sh- at the end of the thing because now it's over anyways. It ended on the 16th. But, um, you know, so he has one guaranteed nice. whether or not it's the cool-looking ghost that makes right. it easy. I actually never asked him because he would know by now, I think. Um, and I right. should actually jump in and pop to to – postmaster just to see if my other one is there because i got a 276 ghost so i'm gonna need to infuse it up use it yep but part of me is just like i'd like to go in and do the raids even if even if i don't even finish the raid like just do it on hard mode to get the drops you know like just whatever what do you mean like the are not newest i mean uh the king's fall or whatever it's called yeah the new one yeah just do that like hard mode, because if you do the hard mode, King's Fall, you get yeah, you still get the drops. You get the double drops. You get the easy mode and the normal mode and hard mode drops. Mm. The normal mode's max three ten. The hard mode, or I think it's max three ten. Hard mode's max three twenty. Um, so you have a chance to get like, you know, doubles and stuff. It, right, it, right. One, it's for infusion fuel. You can infuse up your the weapons you like, it's true, um, it's or true. gear you like, and then, <laughs> you know. You, do, do I think it's going to matter? Probably not. Not realistically, yeah. you know, because it's like <clears throat> you assume Destiny Two comes out, it will have new gear, I'd new imagine. stuff, you know, and it won't matter because you know de- people will still probably play Destiny, but uh, would they like? Sure. Go back to the first one. People play Halo Four. That's eh, true. I'm sure people still play. Yeah, that's right. People yeah. play. I mean, people are playing Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. So that's true. They still, and then people still probably play Modern Warfare. Yeah. So I would think the answer to that is probably yes, because there's also yeah. going to be a ton of people who just don't get Destiny Two when it first comes out. True. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. So that being said, that's that's my take with destiny recently i do i really do want to get back into it like i just i yeah had fun playing it it's just like it's so hard to get a group of people to do the raid right no no like 90 percent of what's fun about the raid is like watching people get killed you know or like Mm -hmm. rip some stupid joke in the middle of it and then it's like oh that was hilarious that's why i like i like raids better when they're not serious like obviously we want to beat it but i mean when people aren't getting frustrated that because oh you Mike you keep dying like dude calm down yo stop dying why are you dying bro calm down bro I'm not trying to you know I'm not trying to rush through it it's like if we have time, time. You, so let's go let's have a cool What's stroll up, girl taking my time on this one. there we go yeah but no nah, I mean Bacardi and Cole play, play again yeah. So that's like, my that's my thing. I want to just, I, but my problem is I also I want to play it just because I I, I want to play something, you know. Right, right, right. Like right. I I just want to play a game of some kind because yeah, it's like it has been a while. I just I don't know. I like I'm so kind of just. We talked about it. I mean, I'm gonna keep harping on it. Like this gaming drought that I've been in, and it's like you know, right. Far Cry Primal is out on Tuesday. I don't care. Not interested. Nah, nah, I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't really interested in any of the Far Cries because they departed so far from the original story, which we I've, I've told again. I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to go into it. Um, you know, the Far Cry series doesn't appeal to me mm-hmm. anymore. Assassin's Creed never did. Uh, right. You Must. know, the Division. Uh, 
I want, I'm like I'm, I'm I'm in the middle. I do want it, but I don't want it right away. I I want I really do want to like that game. And last night restored I, my faith a little. I bit had fun this night because yeah. we had enough we had enough time being cool in the DZ with people not right. actually killing us, where we were able exactly. to use you know the proximity based people, proximity hey. based chat to like talk to people at an extraction uh, yeah. point and be like yeah 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 we cool everybody cool. All right, you need to extract. We need to extract. Let's yeah. cover each other. We're good. We're cool. Everyone's right. cool. Exactly. You know, but I don't want to have to feel like that's a thing I need to do every, every single, single time, time I play the game where I got to like carefully approach people and be like, "Hey, we we cool? We cool?" Right. Cool? No. Yeah, yeah. I just want to get this rifle that I found and extract it and yeah. not have, "Oh, I'm dead and you stole it, you dick." Yeah. You know. Basically. I don't want to do that. Or when we were all there and those rogue dudes showed up and started attacking, like, the five of us. Right, right, right. You know? That was kind of Because, again, like, they're going to take all your gear, extract it, then they're going to go bounce out, get that good gear, equip it, and it's like, you don't stand a chance. Nope. So, Basically. I mean, in the beta ends today, and I probably will jump back into it tonight just to check out, because they – Gave everyone keys to open up random crates. So those DZ crates that I was like, oh, we're not oh. high enough rank. You can now open them. Oh. You can open like three of them, I think. Well, shoot. Yeah. I'm down. It was, it was funny. The post that they had put, and I don't think I'm going to be able to find it real quickly. Because I'd like to read the thing that they put. So basically they put... <clears throat> um. Where was it? Oh, man. So b the the short story was that they had done this thing, and they must have checked how everyone had used it. Mm -hmm. And so fall. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this was the beta daily brief from the 20th. And so mm -hmm. here we go. Following the heated battles yesterday, you've now experienced the dangers of the cleaners firsthand. The cleaners being the ones that had the gas tanks with the flamethrowers. Yeah. We tanked. Cause it was awesome. <laughs> um, you took down 275 million cleaners without hesitation. As a reward, every agent has received a fire kit that is filled with three incendiary bullets, three explosive bullets, three frags, blah, 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 blah. Mm. There was one agent who took it upon themselves and had a personal vendetta against the cleaners sk so this is cool this they put in the names of people who did this thing and so sk oh, hazards wow. killed 336 cleaners and will receive a unique reward for the extraordinary effort hmm. um however some agents love the thrill or they just like to play with fire hype x sanity managed to take out 72 cleaners using only a shotgun now i would like to know if I took out the most by hitting their tanks, because I would like to say that. Oh, right, right, right. That you did some work. Yeah. Do some work into Most you. of my shots were tank shots. Um, so that was that. was that. Where? How do I get back to this main beta thing to read these posts? Crap. Read more. Anyways, so there was a. Shoot, there was a post that said that everyone was going to get a thing to open those crates, and now I don't know where it is. Uh, beta uh, thing. blog Never. thing they blog. have going. Yeah. And basically it said that everyone who played gets three keys to go open those crates. Because my assumption Thanks. is that most people did not level up enough to do it. Right. One of the things they specifically mentioned was that, you know, there was one player who... Uh, like helped a bunch of other people get extractions out and then there was also somebody who failed and got killed like 10 times trying to extract and i kind of mm -hmm. wanted to be like dude that sounded like me the other night when i got killed repeatedly trying to extract right you know and then by sheer luck nobody was extracting when i went to extract hmm. what luck yeah no npcs and no random jerk bag character like players right came and attacked me that works so that was cool and i was able to extract like a fucking backpack or something <laughs> um i had so, to jump back on for a little yeah i'm gonna play it again 
uh, for sure, just because, um, you know, for me, I just, I haven't, it's just, I just, I want to play games with people. I don't, mm-hmm. single player games don't, I mean, I like them, but it's just, it's, it's, not more, your it's more fun playing with other people. So it's like, it's one of those things I want to play Destiny because it's a game that I know a lot of people have. True. That I'm friends with, you know, it's just one of those things where like not everybody wants to play it, not everybody's around, mm, so it becomes right. a problem. It becomes a problem. Whatever, uh, yeah. you know. Right now, I just need to get to Uncharted. I need to make it to <sighs> April. You know, so I've got so it's great because that's going to be PAX and then Uncharted Four. Oh yeah. So true. I will cure my post-con depression with Uncharted Four. It's true. Um, Good but, timing. Yeah, it's fantastic timing. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and if I'm lucky, I'll have a kick-ass blue PlayStation 4 and or controller to go with it. Seriously? Yeah, I see. I can't see. I can't see myself buying the the PS4, but I'm hoping maybe I can like win one at PAX. That'd be sweet. Like maybe somebody will just be like, "Hey, you're you're J Bond from that that podcast, right?" And I'd be like, "Yeah," and they'll be like, "Here's this PlayStation. Here's this. It's yours now. It's yours. You congrats." <laughs> Sweet. It's like I don't even want a fucking twentieth edition anymore. Just give me a give me the uncharted one. Yeah, and it's I'll get sweet. and get Neil to sign it and Oh. I would just get everyone I know at Naughty Dog to sign it. Right. Be like, please all of you sign this. What the box or the system itself? The system itself. I'd have him sign like the you know, the hard drive yes. cover. And I would just put that thing in like a you know, case and never use it. No, I just stick it right there and just put it where my P- as I say, stick it right there, like you guys can see my setup. Just put it where my <laughs> PS4 is. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's like I, I, yeah, it's like would I actually use it? I don't know, probably, but I'd want to put it up on the wall for sure. Right, right, right. You know, build a have custom, a display, build some sort probably. of custom shelf. Be cool. Be like Eric Jensen. He's got his 20th anniversary. He had built like a nice shelf for it. Thanks. Eric Jensen, my friend over at Ben Studios. Luis. One of these days, they're going to tell us what the hell is going on over there. I hope so. This whole time, they're going to be like, we haven't actually been making a game. We've been working <laughs> on Sony's new like cell phone stuff. I don't know. <laughs> right? It's like they're, we making, are... they're making the... They've been pioneering the new Vio. <laughs> God. Did you ever have a Sony Vio? No. Ugh. The dream, my friend. The dream. So it was very much worth it. Oh no, they were like super overpriced. <laughs> oh, just, it was like <laughs> oh right, right, yeah, those phones. Um, yeah, I Sony Vio PCs. My friend had a Windows ninety five one. It was like, and it had the stupid uh, what did they call it? The like, the like iLink connector, which was like their version of Apple's FireWire. What a joke. <laughs> yep. it, and then and then of course that same port connector got put on the ps2 right it was the two usb ports and yep. then that and it was like that, what is yep. this even for what was the what were the usb ports even for like right on the ps2 like what were people putting in in there like it didn't yeah. use thumb drives it had right. memory cards <laughs> it's like that uh I'm Weird thinking, I'm them. thinking like the only thing that it needed was like microphones maybe for like or maybe like guitar rock maybe. band or something. Guitar band. Rock guitar hero. <laughs> uh somebody should make that make a <laughs> Steam game guitar band. <laughs> rock hero and you're just a rock. Like literally you're you're a rock and you just like I don't, yeah, I don't know. I just, I give up. Uh, Fair enough. So anyway, so the division it's coming out. I can't. I don't know that I'm gonna do it. It's sixty. Like I say, it. I want it. Bucks. I can eat right. I'm not eating it right away. You know. I guess that's, it, that's, it really depends on how much stuff there is to do without being forced into the DZ. Season pass. Oh yeah, that's because it. I'm nervous that I'm gonna go into the DZ. And because it's going to happen, I'm going to have to play solo, right? And True. get destroyed. Unfortunately. You know, and have all this potential gear that I've found stolen. Or just the simple fact that you get punished. Like, the DZ punishes you and rewards rogue players. 
Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, if I kill a rogue agent, I get double XP. But if they kill me, they get experience. And I lose and experience and money. Like, why am I losing? Why am I getting punished by not only being killed, losing any gear I've found because I drop it, and then right. losing experience and money when a person who goes rogue kills me? Why am I Which, the one being punished for that? That's pretty much unfair because you're trying to be fair and help people, and then some dude. Even if I wasn't trying to help people and I was just trying to do my own thing, like right. I should, like I'm being punished. So what you're telling me is, is if I get the game and I'm one of the first people to get the game into my console, jump into the DZ, level up, get a ton of gear, I can just roam the DZ, kill right. people, take their shit, extract I think it myself. And then don't be a bitch. And then I'll be gaining more experience and making it harder for those people to level up at all because I'm killing them and taking their stuff and they lose experience for it. Yeah. Right, basically. Like the definition of uncool. You are rewarding players in the most the inefficient ass way. Hat. Yeah. Not yeah. a fan. Fair enough. But yeah, I guess there's the whole thing. Oh well, just avoid the dark zone. But then, what do you do? You know, because right. if you, I mean, I assume there's probably gear. missions that require you to be in the dark zone. Dark and zone. even if there aren't, I just imagine that there are times when you might just want to go into the dark zone because there's right. definitely better gear. Right. You want to see what you can get. You know, way more NPCs depending on where you end up than what I ever found in the PVE sections. So and Scoop. again, obviously we've got you, you, the, we have such a small sample of the game world in and of itself right. that could play I mean, a part they, into it. They, but they, they could change. I mean, they could essentially change it before release. But I mean, it's so close to release. I doubt it. Yeah. So I I don't know how that's gonna play out because especially for people who don't necessarily have friends and they're gonna be playing this game primarily solo. They're no gonna way, be man. It's like, oh, why is that guy attacking me? Yeah, like you're just not gonna have a fun time in the DZ, and that's right. what I think you'd ultimately want to be. It there's more action. True. It is true. You know, it'll end up being like you Destiny, the where it's like, you, the... you know, all I'm doing in Destiny was you know patrolling Cosmodrome and running public events. Events, Except yeah. the difference is, is in the public well, event, you. if I get an exotic engram drop, nobody's going to kill me and take it. Oh, that'd be the worst. Right? Thank you, Bungie, for not doing that. Yeah. Oh, you know, when man. people, okay, when people like to ram their uh, sparrows into you, like this time they'd be killing you. Yeah, it's true. You know? So it's like there's parts of that that I don't, I don't like the that aspect of the gameplay. And I think that that would... I think it would ruin it for a lot of people. So, oh yeah, especially if you if you're one person that you don't really research games a lot, like you don't really go to IGN, Kotaku, whatever, or disconnect gamers. You don't really go to that stuff, and you just kind of like classy. oh, that was a classy slide huh. right in there. <laughs> and uh, to check out this <laughs> podcast whoops. you might have heard of. <laughs> but you know, they're like, oh, Division case looks cool. I'm gonna pick it up. And then they run into the dark zone. They're like, why is that guy killing me? I feel like people really don't do that it's... anymore, though. No, I they don't. I feel like it's so it's unlikely. Just... Although, when I, so when I, was at, when, I was, when I was at Halo the other day, when I was at Target picking up Halo. <laughs> you Halo. So, so we're going se to segue into story time with J-Bond, you know, which is basically always. So the other day, I'm on the internets, www.gamestop.com. And I'm like, all right, Halo 5. New fifty nine ninety nine. Get fucked. GameStop. Yeah. Then, then I'm like, all right, Best Buy dot com. Halo five. Fifty nine ninety nine. Nope. Bite me. Best Buy. And then I'm like, all right, Walmart's. The Walmart's got to have it. <laughs> Halo five. Fifty nine ninety nine. So I'm like, what? Da roll. I go to Target dot com. Halo five. Temporary price cut, thirty eight ninety nine, and I'm like, hell yeah, I can do thirty eight ninety nine. I can yeah, swing that. Yeah. I can swing for the fences. So I, I go ahead and I get, I get in my six four, and I cruise over to Target. Word word. Go into Target, go to the game section, which is totally different now. It's weird. It's like they call it like the, what do they call it? Like the entertainment area. 
yeah the entertainment section now and it's like cameras tvs computers and video games and cds like and dvds all in one and it's just it's confusing because i don't like change and (laughs) so i I go and i'm like looking for the game and i'm like oh halo 5 boom there it is because then i'm gonna i always go find it and then i go get the person Mm-hmm. And I go, and it's like fifty nine ninety nine on the shelf, and I'm like, "Well, that's not right." Right. So I go whoops. find the Target guy, and I'm like, "Hey, Target guy, it says on the website that mm-hmm. it's thirty eight ninety nine." And he's like, "All right, let me look in my Target provided iPod Touch thing that has a barcode scanner." And so he mm-hmm. types in the barcode, and it comes up fifty nine ninety nine. And he's like, "And you said this is on our website?" And I was like, "Yes." So he's like, "All right, hold on." So he goes on his machine. And he types in Target.com, search Halo 5, sees that it's 38 99 He's like, I can do this. I can just – it's on the website. So I – and he's like – because he, yep. I'm assuming he's thinking because maybe I, like, saved the web page on my phone and, like, oh, yeah. and, like doctored it or something, which is fine. Whatever. He's checking it on his device. If it's 38 oh, yeah. 99 on his device, we're cool. Just making sure it's um, legit. Because, like, that's not me anyways. So mm. – um, uh, I was gonna say something and I'm just not going to, but I'll tell you later because I don't want to cause a, a kerfluffle or a scu- is it uh, kerfluffle? Is that the is that the term? That's I think, the, that's I the think term. it's the term. Whatever. We'll go with it. Uh, <laughs> so whatever. So he goes over and he gets it. When I went to originally look at the games, it was a father with a son, son probably 15, 16, maybe, <laughs> looking at games, and his dad was just kind of like doing the thing, like just get one, right? Because he's yeah, like, yeah. which one do you want? And the kid just like, well, uh. I don't know. I just and the dad's like, "Do you, we're here? Just pick one. I'm I'm gonna buy it. Like who cares? Like clearly the father right. wanted him to get one, and it felt like I was getting the feeling that the kid didn't want him to get him a game. Like maybe mm-hmm. I think yeah. I, I didn't get the feeling that it was like a money's tight situation. I got the feeling more that like maybe he he'd had a birthday or like maybe he'd right. already had maybe he has a ton of games and he just didn't want him to get so whatever so. He's like, so, well, I, you know, I want it to be multiplayer. And he's like, okay, well, which ones are multiplayer? He's like, well, that rules out Fallout. He's like, okay, well, what about, you know, all the other, like, games on the shelf? Mm-hmm. And um, so whatever. So I that at that point, that was when I went and got the Target guy. And then he went over with me to get the game. And so the, he opens it up. And the father's like, hey, you know what? Give me a copy of that, too. Because he's like, that's multiplayer, right? And the son's like, yeah. And he's like, well, this kid's getting it. So And I wanted to be like, well, you – it's Halo. You really can't go wrong. Yeah, it's not right. Like it's right, gonna right. Be, it's not going to be terrible. Um, no. I felt bad. I maybe should have been like, what games do you like? Like, I happen to know a decent amount about games. I can help you out. Right. Yeah. Um, but I was just kind of like, nah, it's cool. So no, my problem. Guy, guy brings me over to the counter. He's got the copy of the other kid. And so he price matched. Price, 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 price matched. Matches Halo mm-hmm. 5 for me mm-hmm. but i don't think he price matched it for the other guy um, and i think that's kind of kind of shitty yeah, I was like, hey whoa, whoa, whoa you did that for him why you not do it for me well because he didn't say anything when he rang me out when he price matched it he just kind of did oh. it because we'd already had the price matching discussion as he went to get me the game so gotcha. he wasn't gonna like re-mention that he'd price matched it so I right so i don't think the father and son combo ever heard that I was getting it price matched. Now, and and as a as a person who happens to have been in the business ownership standpoint, I understand where he might have been coming from. There's two sides to this coin. There's the one side where he could opt to price match it for that father-son combo even though they didn't mention it. Because I happened to be getting the same thing ahead of him and I had a price match for me, right? Right. But that's him making that judgment call. The other side of the coin is that Target's policy on price matching, as I assume most other stores, is more likely than not, if the customer does not specifically ask, the customer does not get it. True. Fair enough. Which is totally, I get it, it's fair, it sucks for him, because he would have paid $20 more for that game when he didn't have to. Um, mm-hmm. But... That was my whole issue with that, and that was like a, that was like a whole separate dilemma from just purchasing the game at all. Because I do game. like I feel for that guy because like that's twenty bucks, that's mm-hmm. that's you know, thirty percent of the game, thirty three percent of the game. If it's sixty, twenty, 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 but um, 
But it's like it's one of those things where like I didn't think it was my place to be like, hey, I hope you price match it for these guys, right? Right. Because mm-hmm. I don't want to be the guy who then gets like kicked out of Target for trying to save <laughs> right, the guy twenty it, bucks. And yeah, also because I don't work at Target, I don't know their policy. Maybe the policy is if the customer does not specifically mention a price match and have a thing to compare it to, they don't get it. Right, right, and right. And because I'm anal about checking all these things that like I knew it was thirty eight ninety nine. I had it on my phone when I went in. And when I saw that it wasn't the right price on the shelf, I immediately just went and found a person and was like, Hey, uh, can you yeah. check this? Because if it wasn't if the price wasn't thirty eight ninety nine and they weren't gonna match it, I was leaving. I was just oh, yeah, not gonna exactly. buy like one, I, I know some people be like, dude, you're gonna drive all the way over there. It's less than like three miles to Target. Right. Oh yeah. And if I wanted to, at that point, I could have gone to like there's a Target, a GameStop, a Walmart, uh, Sears. I'm trying to think what else is nearby. There's another GameStop, like a town over. Like I could have gone anywhere else and bought it. So it's like true. if it wasn't thirty eight ninety nine on principle, I probably would have just been like, I'm out, peace. Right. Whatever. And then I would have paid the fifty nine ninety nine somewhere else. Um. That said, they price matched it. It was cool. This is why I like buying games at Target. They have a good selection, at least at my Target. They have a good selection. They usually have the accessories. Not that I ever buy them, except for when I first got my Xbox. Mm-hmm. Um, I needed that. I needed a controller. But um, I do appreciate, one, the Target's proximity to me because it's super close by. They've pretty much always had the games in stock that I wanted. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they run those buy two get ones or oh yeah right know, or uh, whatever or just the off. random temporary price cuts on Halo Five to thirty eight ninety nine. Yeah, if Tomb Raider was on sale not too long after it released. Yeah. So I that was my segue into how I got Halo Five, and then my my questioning target in their price matching. Uh, which I, I again, I think it's more just a, if the customer doesn't ask for it, the customer doesn't get it. Right, the customer wouldn't get it. You know, it. and and it's not the and it's not necessarily the employee's place to be like, hey, they, you know, I had to price match it for him, so I'm just gonna price match it for you, right? Mm-hmm. It would no, be no, no, it yeah. would be the nice thing to do because the customer would then be like, oh, awesome. But at the right. same time, oh, yeah. it does then remove the element of the customer needing to be aware that the price was right. different. You know, um, right? I think because obviously he heard. didn't. Obviously, the guy didn't. He didn't know, know the price yeah. was was different. No. It was a temporary like price checking. cut on the website. Sorry, he no. had to look it up himself. Right. So that was that was that. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, I've only played multiplayer in Halo Five, and it's cool. It's nice to have yeah. something something different to play. Another actual full 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 mm-hmm. game on uh, right. Xbox because pretty much. At this point, it's been the gigantic beta, which is now – gigantic is a MOBA uh, for those of you who don't know. Um, and if you happen to be interested in the game and you want codes, you should tweet us because we have codes. Um, but, yeah, it's been gig- the gigantic beta, which has been really fun, and then fortified, which is also really fun. Uh, especially if you just do quick match. But I was – oh, man, I quick matched and was in with these kids. Mm-hmm. Terrible kids, kids, man. I can't listen to them on the. I can't listen to them on the mic. But like, you have to because like when they're screaming because they need help at their base because they just can't play the game well. Right. You want to rip your. You want to rip your teeth out. Right. On the way. So so I remember the remember the the dudes that like they're just the balls and they roll to the mm-hmm. base and then they sprung spring out the legs and then they just shoot at the base right and they're really yep. hard to kill so mm-hmm. yeah that was the thing that was like the, these two kids problem and it was every single time I was like oh my god it's the big thing it's the big thing oh my god it's the big thing i need help 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 and i'm like ah and it's like you know we got to the point where like he would start screaming and i would just run over there or i'd be paying attention to the radar and stop it Mm-hmm. Like I would be trying to do damage to it before it got to the thing, right? not waiting for it. That was another thing that was frustrating. Like none of the people in my lobbies understood mm-hmm. like the concept of damage over time. 
so they would put uh, all their base they would put all their base defenses like right at the base and I'm like guys uh, no you put them no. further out so they take damage while they're coming to you so now when the enemies get to you they at least have had some damage shipped away at them right yeah exactly it's like so you always build your defenses further out like yeah sometimes it's nice to have something at the tail end just because you need time to get there if you happen to be covering another thing if you have like a multi-base defense or whatever but like yeah it was just uh interesting Mm. to say the least so that (laughs) was that was that that was one of the last times i played because i got to like we we were on like level eight or something and it's absurd like it's really hard there's a giant there's a giant space robot boss oh shit yeah it's huge it and it basically sets off like a shock wave that just kills you if you're in it Damn. But it like you have to knock its shield down and then it kneels and then attack it, but then the shield comes back up. Like you gotta get like two solid hits on it to take it out. I've we never <laughs> took it out. Um But again, they never put defenses in its path, so like it just walked right up to the base, you know. Oh, just destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. Pretty much. Yeah. Um But it was like I Without a solid team of four and Basie. communication, screwed. I yeah, I can't see, I can't see match uh, being in match made and getting past that unless you happen to have like all like high level people that have like the best perks unlocked for perks, like yeah. defenses and stuff. It just doesn't seem likely. That's Is there anyone it. else? It was cool. we know that has. Uh, not that I know of. Okay, well then never mind then. Yeah, I know we with the two of us have it, and then that's. So yeah, if we can get two more people to get it, then we'll have to stream and have like a four-player stream or whatever. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, so that was so it's just been go gig- uh, go gigantic, gigantic, fortified, and then Halo Five on um, Xbox, PlayStation nice. Four. Like I said, I did the Crimson Doubles, and then mm-hmm. I did um, uh, Division Beta. And then, yeah. yeah. So, uh, PS4 has just been, like I was saying, uh, Destiny, Crimson Doubles, Mm -hmm. Division Beta. Uh, I jumped back into Adventures of Pip to clean up some Mm -hmm. of the... I was going to clean up some trophies. And I don't think I'm going to platinum it because I just don't really care that much. And I still haven't even... I still didn't even platinum Destiny. I got to do Flawless (laughs) Raider. Still haven't done it. But... Mm. um, uh, every once in a while, I jump into Drive Club and just kind of race around. Mm. But pretty much, I would say, was it was Destiny, it was the Division Beta, and then I, th- I want to say that that's kind of it. Oh, well, Dying Light actually, that's not true. I don't want to. I don't want to throw shit at yeah, Dying Light. I've been playing that. I've got one Let's Play up on YouTube of that, an introduction. Mm-hmm. The only thing I realized was, so it won't let me make a second save file for the DLC. Mm-hmm. And I think it's because I don't have a second story file to go with it. Mm-hmm. So what I did was I just started my save file. Uh, I You can restart from the different missions. So I restarted from the first mission. Oh. The only problem is, is that it skipped that initial cutscene. So like I jumped into the game and was like, I'm like, I feel like I was supposed to be showing you guys this long cutscene about a dude with a piece of his eye. You know, he's missing an eye. And yeah. then, like, when we, like, when I started playing the game, I was like, yep, it totally didn't play that cutscene intro again. I'm like, so you might be a little lost, but let me try and fill you in. Mm. Um, so I'm going to, I've been, like, in the process of trying to redo those missions, but um, I've also been, I also did a couple more Punch Club Let's Plays, but turns out. When you capture 1080p video, um, like with my new capture card, big shout out to Aver Media. They didn't give me one. I had to buy it, but the card is awesome, so I'm going to give my thumbs up to them. Those nice. files are huge. <laughs> and my computer was like, what do? Why? So I don't like it. One of those things where like the thought of having to go through the rendering process again for those <laughs> the like dying light videos and in really any like PlayStation content 
is kind of like making me weary of doing it again. <laughs> it takes so long. Ouch! It's like it, t- it took like two hours to render a thirty-seven minute video. Wow! Like a full two hours. Um, you know, one, it doesn't help that I have the old version of an old version of Final Cut, and two, it doesn't help that my computer. Hey. Old. So it's basic poop. Yeah, it just well, it just takes a long time. It's not like ah. the computer's. It's just you know the rendering time. Oh right, right. A combination of the the power of the software and you know it's an external hard drive that it's using. I'm using as a scratch disk because my current laptop hard drive is basically maxed, and that slows it down a little bit. And it is what it is. If the new version of Final Cut Pro would eliminate a lot of my rendering issues because it kind of like renders on the fly, but right. Uh, yeah. That's the thing. I mentioned it before. I don't want to talk about it again. <laughs> uh, the only other thing I was going to say is that tomorrow is the last day. February 22nd is the last day for PlayStation, which is totally a random segue, but it's the last day for your PlayStation Plus vote to play. They're doing another one of those, you know, vote for the game you want for free next month. If it's not uh, Bro Force, get out. Yeah, so there's Action Hank, Assault Android Cactus, and then Bro Force. Yep. And yeah, I have Broforce on Steam, so I, I mean I don't care one way or the other. Right. I, mean, I, I bought it on Steam, but um, I have a poop PC, so I'm gonna kind of need it on PS4. Yeah, exactly. If it's on, if that like if Broforce is the game we get, then I'm totally cool with it. Uh, mm-hmm. Assault Android Cactus, meh, but yeah. Action Hank would be okay if that is the one that wins. Right. So. Um. And right now it is kind of like between Action Hank and Broforce. I don't think Assault Android Cactus really had a shot Stop at it. it. So, hmm. so that was that was like the only kind of thing that I was gonna say. If you, but the p- problem is by the time I post this, mm-hmm. the like the polls will probably be closed. This oh is gonna yeah. Go live tomorrow morning, and it's gonna end right, right, right. sometime tomorrow morning as well. So I suppose it doesn't matter. I have True. failed you. <laughs> but hey. what about you? Games. Oh, too much Digimon. Way too much Digimon. It's all I've been playing is that, and then Street Fighter Five, which... That's good? Oh, it's so good. I understand the, the, the whole dynamic with Street Fighter. Like, yes, it's not a full game. They don't have all the modes. Uh... Well, the online wasn't working temporarily, but it works perfectly now. You can jump in a match. You can jump in a lobby. There's no Master Chief situation with that. But I know uh, I understand it's it, it's bare bones. Bare bones in the sense, like, so what... See, I never like, played Street have, Fighter, so, like, what story is mode. It, what's missing that people would want? See, I don't even know. I think it's just new planned modes they have. Uh, okay. Because normally, I think normally there's an arcade mode, which they don't have yet. Okay. Uh, so they have story mode and a challenge mode that they're going to add, I think, next month. A store they're going to add next month to buy costumes, mm-hmm. characters, colors. And then uh, I'm assuming they're going to add arcade mode, which is, that was always the standard mode for Street Fighter. Is you pick a character and you fight through stages right. of each fight or whatever, and then done. There's, you know? And I think they said they had planned modes, which I guess I lied. I'd have to find the article another time for you to post it. But they do have like a planned, they have a set plan for what they're going to release, you know, for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they're not telling us, hey, we'll tell you when we tell you. Like, no, this is what we have for this month. This is the character. You know, this is the costumes, whatever. Like how uh, Mortal Kombat did it? Or, I mean, in theory, Mortal Kombat made you pay for the extra characters, but... No, you don't. Uh, well, you can pay with in-game currency. You oh, don't. Okay. Ha- it's not like it's actual DLC where, mm-hmm. yeah. Like I think the only deal, you know, DLC they had, uh, outside of the game is the season pass, which you know you don't have to buy if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. You can separately buy those characters in-game with the currency. Oh, okay. But I just whatever I, you know. I have extra money, so I was like, whatever, I'll buy the season pass. It's yep. Six extra, you know, six extra characters with in game money I don't have to spend, mm. you know, so I can buy the the newer characters that I won't get the, you know, if they have another so season pass. So it was like pass. Blacklight Retribution, right? Where you could use the zombie coins or you could yeah. use in game currency. 
yeah, and the more you play story mode and other stuff, you earn, earn in- it. See, yeah. So you could buy more characters. Now, what about what about this digi digital monsters? Oh, it's so how many good. how many hours would you say you have? Oof. 30, 40? Oh, way more than that, at least. Hundo? A cool hundo? In-game, it says 70, but I feel like it's more than 70. Hmm. Like, way more than 70. Because I've been have doing this whole it, or have you? No, not yet. I've just okay. been grinding to get the, all the Digimon that I want. So How many Digimon are there? Are there 151? Uh, over 200-something, okay. I think. Were there always say. 200 something or have Digimon like Pokemon, you know, yeah, Digimon? Yeah, it's the same thing. There, there's a whole bunch of. I don't think there's as many Pokemon or Digimon as our Pokemon, but this one they were like, okay, we're going to keep it to the standard ones that you know. We're not going to add a whole bunch of random, you know, fucking ice cream cone like Pokemon. Vanilla Knight. Yeah, that stupid bullshit. Hey. It's like, this did is you the one. That that's the only Pokemon designed by an American. Seriously? Yep. Well, that was dumb. It was really dumb. Yeah, as far as I know, at that or at least at the time, Vanilla Knight was the only Pokemon designed by an American. The rest were all designed uh, by Japanese people. Whoever told him it was a good idea lied to him. Sorry. Why didn't you make Charizard? <laughs> why couldn't you make one of the cool ones? Yeah, like, like why, like why isn't one called like Electrolyte and it's shaped like a Gatorade it's bottle? Like a Gatorade bottle. <laughs> It's just capitalism. Yeah, like, <laughs> wh- like you know, root, root, uh, uh, root, root among us, and it's like a tree, 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 tree is or tree, tree is ard, tree get you, electric tree, it's an electric tree, uh. uh like blues clues fucking jesus uh <laughs> oh god i'm too ti- i'm tired i haven't slept in a long time um yeah i'm trying to think of like dumb pokemon names now like vitamin pokemon and it's just that like... should be that should be the name of this episode is dumb pokemon names <laughs> dumb pokemon names <laughs> so yeah. people are like what what Dumb. and then that'll get them to watch it cuz they're like Headset at really? you. It's like, is that all they talk about? Is dumb Pokemon names? Yeah. Water bobble chew. Yeah, like iPod, iPodosaurus. Just like everything American, like iPod McDonald's. Just a and then it Bulbasaur. would be, and then it was so, so no. See, okay. here's the thing, right? The first one would be like, it would be like iPod Shuffle, right? Oh, and then, it evolved, yes. and then your your iPod and Shuffle evolved into <laughs> iPod Touch. And then it evolved into iPhone. iPhone, yeah, the, the plus. iPhone Azard, yeah, iPhone the, Azard plus. Plus, that's the mega. That's the mega form is I plus six. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. You know. And then it became iWatch. Or iWatch, yeah. Whatever the hell it is. Uh, just name it after trucks. Yeah. Ranger, uh, Rangers, Rangermon. Jermon, Tahoman, Tahoman, giant <laughs> suburbanite. <laughs> yes, yeah, and then it would just be like, it looks like it just looks like a, it's a flying truck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> flying SUV. Oh man! Oh god! It used recline. <laughs> uh, it used air. Oh my god! No, it would be perfect because one of the t- the attacks could be air ride because they have air <laughs> ride suspensions. And air ride suspension. Like a play on like air raid. Fuck yeah. genius! Oh, and it could use it could use horn, which would be intimidate. Right. Oh, boom! Oh, rolling instead of roll out. Yeah, and it could have some sort of attack that is like the the backup camera. You know, like yeah. if you if you hit it with like a sandstorm, it just uses the backup camera to see, so it still has attacks that hit. That'd be you awesome. You know, because like every time you get sandstorm, it's like oh. Your Pokemon used this attack. It missed. Thanks. Yeah. Sandstorm was like 10 moves ago. I'm right? not blind anymore, right? Damn Bullshit. it. Stupid. Uh, yeah, so Suburbanite, totally. Sold. Suburbanite and then Electrolyte. 
flashlight. I'm just like looking at things in my room, like cordless phone tonight. Or the night, marker, remote night. Marker on. It's just a marker. <laughs> Literally, it's a Pencil, scratch. Pencilmon. Mousemon. Yeah, Mousemon becomes Ratmon, then Ratmon becomes Catmon. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Uh, I think we should just end it there. <laughs> <laughs> Before we just keep going. Uh, Endomon. It's, a, <laughs> it's a, just a Pokemon that's just like a shape. Doesn't have a face. No face that mon. Face. Sh- shape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, yeah. Follow us on Twitter, at the DGCast. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash the DGCast. If you search the DGCast, it'll show up, but that's the direct link to it. Because there are two the DG casts. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, the one that the, the kids that don't use it at all. They also have the Twitch is the DG cast that they don't use. <sighs> use um, and they never message me back when I messaged them like over a year ago. So we are twitch.tv slash DG cast TV for those of you that want to catch the streams. Because I stream pretty often. Um, I'm trying to again once I get my sleep schedule back. I'm gonna try and stream again consistently, like at the same time. You know, four hours, four to five hours. I find that's the sweet spot. It's like a solid. Solid stream. It's enough time that people can jump in, you know, because they might not get the email right away or they might not see the tweets. But then they right, might right. be going through the timeline and be like, yo, J-Bond is streaming? Oh, I'm going to catch this. Sweet. What'd it do? <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so, you know, obviously I don't post YouTube videos every day because pff, my computer would implode. A black hole. Black hole, yeah. Um, but so that's where you can find us. Uh, if you want to follow me personally on Twitter, it's at so after I said, Mike. You are at M Tong One and G One. Yep. And that's gonna do it for episode fifty-eight. Again, if you've been with us since the beginning, awesome. Thank you. If you're new. Welcome, welcome in. Yep. Strap yourself in, get buckled up, and uh, enjoy the ride. Uh, you can listen to all the back episodes on our website at thedgcast.com. And I think like episode like 20 through, obviously, current episodes are on YouTube. And then obviously everything is on iTunes as well. Um, if you're listening on iTunes, please give us a review. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up. Throw a comment beneath. Mm-hmm. And if you're checking it out on the website, that's awesome too. Uh, yeah. Go to youtube.com and give us a thumbs up on the YouTube give video. Thumbs up. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be it for today. So we will catch you guys and girls <laughs> on the flip. <laughs>